Uh, you know, um, the, the cool part about football is that no matter how many times you do it, it's always a little different every time, and um, this year's no different. Um, a lot of new stuff has gone in, a lot of different things, a lot of different guys stepping up, and that's always fun to see. If I think about it too long, I get a little emotional, uh, just because it's, it's been pretty much my whole life for the past four years, and um, you kind of start thinking about the end, but you don't want to yet. Week three of training camp continues for the University of North Dakota football team. Two-a-day practices have become a thing of the past as the team focuses on itself. Off the field, players and coaches spend countless hours in meeting rooms prepping for the upcoming season. On the field, they make plays, battling for time, and moving up the depth chart. True freshmen buy for the opportunity to play right away. And everyone focuses on getting better with each practice. There's time for fun too, as the team helps coach at the Grand Forks Youth Football get back out here and get back to the community of these kids, you know, uh, trying to teach them a little bit of football, you know, they can get and take from us, it's kind of cool to meet a little bit of these guys out here trying to play football, you know, it's kind of, it kind of brings me back to my old days and stuff like that, growing up and going to camps and stuff like that with the high school in my area, so it's, you know, it's really a good feeling getting back to the community. It's amazing, you know, just seeing how far I've come, and, you know, thinking back to how young I was and how much I loved the game, and I still do, and I know that these kids will too. Sixth grade year was, I think, the first year they actually did it. Uh, it was actually a really neat experience to have all the older guys come and it really was like inspiring and kept you going. Uh, I think it's really special. Like a lot of the kids in the community, they're our biggest fans. So if we can come out here and help them out for an hour and make them love the game of football, then there's no greater reward than. Well, when I was younger, uh, I went to the U of M like football camps and. It just felt so good, so I can I can totally imagine like how it makes them feel. Probably like just seeing like older guys help them out and uh, like better their skills in football and just like become real cool with them. So you know, it's a good opportunity to come out here and to get away from you know the field and you know every day the, uh, the daily grind of uh, football. So and out here hanging out with the kids and they're having a good time. We're having a good time too. We're all kids at heart, so it's, it's really good feeling. All right. I just, I, on, I guess it's just apparent that, um, you know, the whole community loves football. Perfect. And uh, that's a good thing, right you know, try to, um, right here, you know, promote come football the, you know, the right, right way. You this know, come out drill. and help the kids. This and, is the drill. You know, it's, have fun at the same time. And I, I think they are, we are too. So. Back at the stadium, practices continue throughout the week.
say it's a huge transition from high school. Um, you do a lot of things you don't expect, you know, and everything is upbeat and, you know, fast tempo. So really the big, the big adjustment is, you know, getting used to um, moving around faster and everything. But as far as football, you know, football is the same everywhere. And, you know, you just push through whatever you're going through. You know, it's all about pushing through adversity. Well, the first few days, you know, we're kind of brutal just getting the use of, you know, college football in general. Uh, towards like the, you know, the middle of camp, it started getting a lot better and I started to like it more. And, uh, you know, just getting up every day so early and just, you know, hitting, hitting each other all the time. I don't know, it flew by though, like, we just got two weeks ago and I, you know, I didn't feel like it was yesterday that I got here and, uh, you know, it was a great time just, you know, like, just bonding with all the, all the freshmen, the whole freshman class. Just getting, uh, getting to know everybody, especially, you know, that's how it's bonds become to football. Yeah, we're around each other all the time. Hey, we do team time, but basically every day is like team time. We wake up in the morning at 8 o'clock and we're with these guys until 7 to 8 o'clock at night. So we bond, and most of the time we live with the guys too. So we're with these guys 24-7. Some guys are sick of each other. Some guys love each other. But I mean, that's, that's part of being a team. It's not always going to be good. It's not always going to be bad. But just got to roll with this. Yeah, absolutely. Like, this is already family. You know, this is all I know. Um, you go, you leave practice and you're with the kids back at the dorm and everything. So, I mean, get to know each other pretty well. And I feel like these guys are my brothers already after, you know, about a month. As freshmen, you made it through probably the hardest part of your college career right now. Hey, Christian. Oh, don't, don't, don't spoil the surprise. <laughs> the week finishes with some fun and some light-hearted competition at the bowling alley. Thank you. 